All right, today I'm going to give you the guide to poncho buying. And I know what you're thinking. I don't need a poncho. Look at me. I'm an investments banker. I'm not going to wear a poncho. You're fucking wrong, dude. You need a poncho more than anyone. Ponchos are the most comfortable, relaxing fucking garment that you can wear. It's impossible to be stressed in a poncho. It's just like, man. You put a poncho on and suddenly you are the most relaxed motherfucker going around. If you're going to Peru, buy a poncho. And don't do what I did, because I bought this bad boy here. Look, through the magic of television, I'll now just like put it on. Are we ready? How can you be stressed in a poncho? This is what Fortune 500 companies should have as standard policy. Everyone must have a poncho day. A poncho day would relieve everyone's stress. You put one, it's like a blanket. Look at this, I can cross my legs here. I can just put that over there and put that on. And it's just like a hug. It's like wearing a hug. That's what it's like. I'm wearing a hug. You know what though? Stupidly, I am wearing a synthetic hug. And and this is the thing, you've got to understand a little bit about um, the different types of police in in Peru. There's llamas, alpacas, and then there's vicuñas. And vicuñas are like this majestic looking alpaca. They're just like, they're very pretty, very like, I don't know what the word is. They're better than you, and you know it. And they know it. Like. I don't know, there's something going on there. But their fibre is so amazingly beautiful and rare that if you are an investment banker, you go and buy yourself a Vicuña poncho. That's what you need. Forget the Ferrari, go and get yourself a Vicuña poncho. Now, if you're like me and you can't afford Vicuña, there was a time in Peru, there was a time in Peru where the king would kill you if you shaved your vicuña before he ordered the uh, the thread. How's that? That's harsh. But there, once you feel it, you'll know. That's fair. So, then we get to alpaca, right? Now, alpaca fiber is beautiful. It goes vicuña and then alpaca, but better than alpaca is baby alpaca. So, baby alpaca fur is more like vicuña. It's finer. And, and it's prized there. So uh, the Peruvians, they know their fibres, man. They're, they're, they're taking the shit off the alpacas and they're spinning it. They're mixing it with squashed bugs and baby urine to dye it. Yeah, don't let that put you off, you know. It's better than probably the synthetic shit that you're wearing right now. But they know. So I made the stupid mistake. I bought everyone else real alpaca. But I made the stupid mistake of buying myself a synthetic poncho and if I have one regret and I do have one regret it's that I did not buy myself a baby alpaca poncho because I bought myself a baby alpaca beanie um, and it is the softest most comfortable goddamn beanie and I think it's like a bit of a status symbol because as I was walking around the markets and things and talking to some of the local women they'd be like hey that's that beanie they give it a bit of a rub and they'd be like Baby alpaca, yeah, 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 like they know, they know, they see that shit and it's quality, so, um, yeah, my poncho buying tips are, go to Peru, go to a market, haggle for a poncho, don't buy a synthetic one, buy an alpaca one, and if you've got a bit more coin, buy a baby alpaca one, and if you're a really, really, really rich motherfucker, buy a vicuña a poncho, and you will be like some kind of king, some modern day king. And then you can sit around your lounge room in a big warm hug blanket, just owning the fucking world. Hi, me and Chewy would just like to say a very heartfelt thank you for watching our videos. Um, you can help us out by hitting like, sharing, following, or subscribing. And please drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Right, Chewy?